In this problem, we have a rotating decoration that initially rotates with an angular velocity of 5 radians per second, and um, it has a given um, radius of duration and a mass, but after a while we come back to it and paper clips are magnetically attached to it. The moment of inertia has changed, so the angular velocity also changes. We're given this angular velocity of 2.1 radians per second, so we're asked, given that each paperclip weighs 2 grams and increases the average radius of gyration of the whole ornament by 0.3 millimeters, how many paperclips were added? We also have to assume that the decoration continues to spin freely, so there's no motor attached to it, um, and um, that the decorations are, or the paperclips are uniformly distributed around the decoration. Um, and each increase uh, the radius of gyration in average by 0.3 millimeters. So this is clearly an angular momentum, conservation of angular momentum question. So we can state that between the two states, state 1 and state 2, which are drawn in the diagram, um, we conserve uh, I g omega. So I g omega 1 is equal to I g 2 omega 2. Right? We are given the two values for omega. What we're not given is i, right? But we're given the radius of gyration in state one, so we can find i in state one. Uh, and here we're given the radius of gyration initially plus the increase of radius of gyration due to the addition of paper clips. So this will be a function of how many paper clips we have attached to our ornament. So what we're going to do is. Um, we're going to apply this equation, so we know that i is equal to m k squared. And we can calculate uh, i g1 is equal to m1 k1 squared. And these are properties that are given in the problem, right? Then we can say that i g2 is equal to m2 k2 squared. Now these are the properties that we do not, that are unknown. Right? But we can say that m2 is equal to m1, which is the mass, the initial mass, plus the mass of each paper clip times the number of paper clips. 0 0.002 kilograms times n, which is the number of paper clips. And we can say the same thing for k, right? k2 is equal to k1, the original plus the contribution due to the paper clips, 0 0.0003 meters times n. And so now we have defined IG1, and we've also defined IG2 in terms of M1, K1, and the number of paper clips, right? So we know all those parameters except for the number of paper clips, so this is what we're trying to solve. So we can plug this back into the conservation of angular momentum equation, and uh, get the following equation in terms of n. So m1 times k1 squared times omega1 is equal to m1 plus 0 0.002 kilograms times n times k1 plus 0 0.0003 meters times n all squared times omega 2. And as I mentioned, we know all the terms in this equation except for n. And so we can solve this equation. This is a bit more complicated than, than um, a linear or quadratic equation because this is indeed a cubic, right? We have this n term multiplied by this n squared term. So we actually get a cubic equation. But we can use a solver to solve um, and uh, get our answer. So by plugging in all the values, we get that 0 0.4 kilograms times 0 0.12 meters all squared times 5 radians per second is equal to um, 0 0.4 kilograms plus 0 0.002 kilograms times n uh, times 0 0.12 meters plus 0 0.0003 meters times n all squared times 2.1 radians per second. This is our equation, and using a solver, we get that um, n 
is equal to 102. So we need 102 paper clips to um, achieve this angular velocity of 2.1 radians per second. And that is our final answer. We could also use um, a simplification of this equation to get an estimate of how many paper clips. So if we ignore the cubic term, um, so we, we simplify this expression here and, and we take the cubic term and we assume it's negligible, we actually get n of 104, which is in the same order of magnitude. So this would be an approximation if we don't know how to solve a, a cubic equation. Um, but um, ideally, we want to solve the cubic equation and get the exact answer, which is 102 paperclips.